Look, guys, I have a new poster. It's a Pokemon Kanto poster. That's right, it has all of the Kanto Pokemon. All 150. Alright, so as you guys probably tell, uh, hey guys, sorry, my bad to run intro. Here are all my beautiful shiny right loose. It's me, Luke Rickin, and as you guys probably tell from the intro and the title, hopefully, um, I'm doing top 5 Gen 1 Pokemon. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean basically the first 150. There's only 150. Do not mind that Mew. That's not real. It's not real. But anyway, away from that, um, in this list, I'm going to be going from 150 to 151, technically, but Mew, spoiler alert, isn't going to be on this. Mostly because you can't get them except for glitching the game. I'm only going to do Pokemon that you can legit legitimately get. Even though he was in a movie or two, uh, I still prefer to go with the original ones instead of, you know, all 150. Don't mind me. Um, um, so, other than that... Um, let's get this started. Alright, so coming in at number 5, we have Blastoise. Now, if you guys know my top 5 Mega Evolutions, which if you guys haven't seen that yet, go click here. Uh, uh so there will be a little card around here-ish. Either, uh, here, and then here in a little bit, there will be a card about here or here. I don't know which one it will appear at. And, um, yeah, but if you guys saw, uh, if you guys remember from my top five Mega Evolutions, um, you would know that I had Plas Blastoise as my number one. And this list, he's gonna be number five. Um, <laughs> why is that? Well, he's my favorite water starter of all time. Well, not of all time. Uh, Sam Rat takes that place. But he does take this place because he is so cool, and his Mega Evolution makes him even better. Uh, I am going to include Mega Evolutions. I forgot to include that, but oh well. Um, now, <laughs> this is really uh, fun. Uh, he's just a fun little thing to think about. Like, he's a turtle and a tank. How did this happen? <laughs> That's basically all I think about whenever I see him. But he's still really cool and very popular. And in my opinion, he should be more popular than Charizard. Because Charizard po is the most popular one, but... Squirtle, or Blastoise, is super effective against it, so technically Blastoise is the more powerful version, is more powerful than the most popular, and if you, and Venusaur is just crap, you can get so many moves to stop it, so that's why I had to put in Blastoise, because he is one of my favorites from Gen 1 in general, I mean, he, how can you not love him, he's a turtle, tank, Mix. Two cool things, kind of, except for the turtle. I mean, it's a... He fires water! Deadly water, may I add, from his cannons. I'm sure that may be small. Then he mega evolves. <laughs> Too many cannons and one huge cannon right here. How can you not like that? Seriously. But, um... Yeah, that's why Blastoise... Hey! Shut up, I'm doing a video! Uh, that's why Blastoise had to come in at number 5. There's thunder in the skies everywhere. And then, and you see lightning. And you're so intimidated. Who could be coming out? Who? Who? It's a bird. Okay, that's right. Coming in at number four, we have, of course, uh, Thun, um, Zapdos. I forgot his name. I was gonna call him Thunderous, then, um, Thun, uh, I forgot what I was gonna call him. I think I was gonna call him Ta Tapu Koko, because that's what I have him named. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, Zapdos is coming in at number four. What can I say? Zapdos is my favorite legendary bird. Although he doesn't get that much, like, you know, recognition of all this. I think that goes to Articuno. Because, uh, Articuno is just 
overly popular. I don't really care for the ice typing that much. I guess that's one of the reasons why. But if you think about it, Zapdos, it ultimately comes down to Zapdos and Articuno, who's the better one, because Moltres is only super effective against Articuno, whereas the Articuno is super effective against both Moltres and Zapdos, but Zapdos is the same thing, and Moltres is just super effective against Articuno. So there's no point in that. So it ultimately comes down to who's faster. If I can go down to IVs, um, or if you have a speed set move or anything like that, if you have a good move like Thunder or something, thanks to that stab, same type attack boost stab, um, you get it. it. It's Sorry, I was looking at the TV. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Um, so that's why I have to put Zapdos as number four, because he's just cool in general, and it, you wouldn't expect that to happen. Plus, it he's so cool to get Lugia to come out in the second Pokemon movie, so that's why I, I like them. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of cool. So with that, uh, with that being said, Zapdos is coming in at number four. Coming in at number three, we have who else could it be? Mewtwo, the first. I. First. Um. The really legendary that we had. First ever, like, humanly made Pokemon. Although I'm pretty sure Magearna takes that. But I could be wrong here. But, um, no. Um. Yeah, no, it has to go to Mewtwo. Why? Well, he's one of the people that have two. Mega Evolutions. Now, that's not why I chose him. I really don't care for his Mega Evolutions, except for why. Why is pretty fun. But, um, no, because he, uh, no. X. Yeah, no, it was why. That was right. It was why. Uh, and that one's fun because I have, on my Alpha Sapphire, I had a Mewtwo. I transferred up from Heart Gold over to, um,. White one, and then transfer from white one to Alpha Sapphire from the Pokebank, and then transferred him from Alpha Sapphire all the way over to Pokemon Sun. It's a long story, but he's still fun. But before I moved him over there, because he doesn't have it in his Mega Stones, either of them, I had him hold his Mega Mewtwo Y, and holy crap, was it fun to have him hold that! Because I would use. Right off the bat, I would Mega Evolve and use Calm Mind, which if you guys don't know what Calm Mind does, it brings up a special attack and special defense. And man, does he have special defense. I'd use either Psychic for the stab, or a Shadow Ball to help out against like ghost types. And things like that. He was just so much fun to use, to where I couldn't help but love it. <laughs> he was just fun. I want to put him higher, but he gets way too much attention normally, to where he kind of goes down in the scale of one of my favorites from Gen 1. But, um, in this list, he's still number three, more than Blastoise and Zapdos. He's still a lot of fun, thanks to my experiences, and everything about him is cool. Plus, not to mention, he was in Gen 5. He introduced Mega Evolution before it even happened. Unless you count the Mega Gyarados, Mega. We don't know if that's actually true. It's just a little theory. But, you know, because in a show, he was there. Apparently, I don't know if it's true though, but you'll see. Well, fine. It's a theory. You want to believe it? You do. You know, you don't. But no, in a movie, he introduced Mega Mewtwo Y in the movie uh, Mewtwo versus Genesect or something like that. You know, when Genesects were destroying a city in Unova led by Shiny Genesect, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, uh, he introduced Mega Evolution before it was a thing. So. Who knows? So, with that being, uh, that is why Mewtwo is coming in at number three. I can count. The first ever pseudo legendary, it has to go to Dragonite. Man, Dragonite is cool. He was just really powerful back in the day because he wasn't the most overpowered typing that had to go to the psychic but dragon was a very close second which is still feared to this day um except if you have a fairy type with you then you know he's kind of eh. but um no with the ice types 
there weren't that many good ice type Pokemon, and even then he could learn something like um, fire flame or what flamethrower or anything like that to slow you down. Yeah, slow you down, <laughs> slow down your ice type moves and kill them, so that way you won't have to worry about that. And personally, ice type Pokemon are again not that my favorite, to where they're actually pretty weak in comparison to other people. Uh, I mean, Articuno could take him out just fine, but who else could? That's not that, there's not that many good people. Um, to where you can't really even help it, but, I mean, he's just cool in general. He learned Thunder, one of the strongest moves back in the day. Um, he can learn all these good moves to where he can destroy, and Lance from Gen 2 had three of them in his original, not six, three of them in his original, um, team. Three Dragon Knights. He's the Dragon Master for a reason, and that's why. He is unbelievably one of the best people I've ever seen. Like, how can you not love him? So, that's why I had to go with Dragon Knight, because he's just so gosh darn cool. For number two. That's four. Two. Eh. Coming in at number one, it has to go to Venusaur. Wait, hold on, cut. Okay, Pikachu. No, wait, Ron Ronnie Snorlax. Wait, actually, that's right, yeah. Coming in at number one, we have Snorlax. That's right, the laziest Pokemon of all time. It took him 20 years to actually stand up. Gosh, I wish I was that lazy. <sighs> it's a, I can only sleep for like, I don't know. I can only sit down for, I don't know. I'm too lazy to know. But <laughs> in all seriousness, man, is, this guy's fast when he wants to be, but he's extremely lazy, to where it took him 20 years to finally stand up and stand up, sorry, to where he's that cool, he's so lazy, he's cool, um, to where I just, I wish I could be him, he's huge, he's funny, he's fat, but he's fast when it comes to eating, and only one thing can wake him up, which is fun, and, uh, you just can't, you, you gotta love him, um, yeah, he. I just feel like he has. He's more iconic than Pikachu when it comes to the games, because he's been there for a long time. I think until about Gen. I want to say five. Cause, yeah, you just can't find him in Gen five. But other than that, he does come back. Hard gold, soul silver, gold, gold, silver, crystal, fire red, leaf green, red, blue, yellow, green in Japan. If you played that one. Um, things like that, it was amazing for you to see, and I just think he's more iconic than Pikachu, <laughs> to where that's basically why. He's just too much of a beast in a tank to where he can't really do anything like that, so, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Um, Snorlax coming in for number one. Alright, so, ha that's uh, my video uh, for the week. Uh, if you guys missed my, I think I said this last week, or two weeks ago, I'm doing one week uploads now, uh, so you will expect a video once a week over the summer, it might be getting more, it might be getting less, who knows, I'm hoping to get a job that time. But other than that, um, yeah, top 5 Gen 1 Pokemon, if you guys want me to continue this Gen list, I have something a little bit planned for my one year anniversary of doing top 5s, which is a week from tomorrow. Or, when I'm recording this, it's Thursday, so a week from yesterday, which was Friday, just so you know, it's the 21st of April. So, yeah. Um, a week from tomorrow for me, a week from yesterday for you, a week for tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, yeah, other than that, I can't really say anything else. You guys have been a wonderful audience, I hope. Just please be nice in the comments. Do don't be super rude. And tell me what your top 5 Gen, po Gen 1 Pokemon were. Um, I was tempted, that whole like funny clip, I was wanting to put in Missy No, but I kind of forgot about it. Um, but Missy No, no, he was a, he's a full on glitch. There's nothing you can do about that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try something a little bit new with this. AKA, I'm going to leave a little bit of a silence here. Alright, and right here. Here is going to be my last video, and here is just going to be an introduction, and down here, right here, where my throat would be, 
is going to be the subscribe box, where if you guys are too lazy to scroll down and hit the subscribe box, believe me, I can I am, but I still do it anyway, but I will be right on them. You can click that, and here's like, here's note, here's a send, and okay, those two won't be there online, but these three will be. So, um, oh yeah, no mind the shirt, uh, you know, I'm going to leave a link to his channel so I can wear the shirt normally. Uh, he is a Minecraft YouTuber. He's kid friendly, hopefully. I'm pretty sure. Um, to where he's actually he. This shirt was a FNAF World roleplay that he did, um, and I found it really funny and just a good one in, in general. So I bought a shirt, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna leave the channel in the description. Um, Mango Tango is his name. He's a good one. I do recommend him. So. Uh, you guys have been lovely on it, and as always, hope you guys are having a great day or night, depending on what time you're seeing this, and that's it. Like and share for more. Bye! Hi!